many people ask me the following question. How should they get an experience in specific job if all the companies with positions for this job are only looking for people who already have experience in this job? No one wants to hire them because they have no experience. But if no one wants to hire them, how they can get the experience? I asked Dave Jones from EV Blog, and here is his answer. Work on your own projects, for goodness sake. It's so cheap to work on your own. Yeah, back when I was a kid, to buy a microcontroller development kit, that was unheard of, right? You, you couldn't do that on your own. These things were thousands of dollars, right? They were really professional level tools. Now, tools are all free. You know, you can buy it if you want to be a micro, you get the experience with microcontrollers. Buy a $10 board and just and, and start playing around with it. Goodness, there's no excuse. No excuse whatsoever. Um, so yeah, yeah, just work on stuff. If you, uh, but I don't know what to work on. Um, well, okay, you know, fair enough. Some people don't know what to work on. Take an open source hardware uh, project, take an existing project that, you know, in an area that you have some sort of interest in and then um, change it, modify it, add to it. You know, you, you don't have to develop something from scratch. Just take something, as long as you've got something to show at the interview, when you physically turn up to the interview, you should physically have something and go, I, I designed this, here's all the documentation, ask me questions about it, you know? And that doesn't have to be your original design from scratch. It was, you know, just be honest and say, look, I, I really like this project, but, you know, I wanted to add this feature to it or this or whatever. I, I wanted to put it in, in a different case, just take in an existing open source project and putting it in a, you know, a nice fancy case and re, you know, changing the board layout so it fits in a beautiful looking case. That in its own is a skill and that's something you can show off. So yeah, um, there, there is no excuse, seriously. Like, I, you know, what like many you can people... get four, six, eight layer boards for, you know, cheap as chips now. You, it's just, you, yeah. you know what many people don't realize? <laughs> Usually when I'm looking for someone, I don't look yeah. for specific uh, skills or something, but right. I look for attitude. And when uh, when I see someone is working on yep. electronic projects in their own time, it means mm. they are interested in electronics. They have the yep. motivation, they have the drive, they would like to solve problems. Mm. And that's what is important. It's not important uh, for me that what kind of projects they design. That's, that's not really No, no, it's, it's really, yeah, it doesn't really matter. Yep, I'm, I'm totally the same thing. I've, um, a lot of people, uh, I've done this in one of my videos as well. I've talked about this. Uh, they'll often ask you at a job interview, what is your most valuable skill or something like that? You know, it'll be a question. Of, I've always said my, my answer to that is enthusiasm. It's my enthusiasm for this. That's my most important skill. You know, it's not physically that, yeah, I can write this code. Like, you know, if you're a, if you're a, de if you're an enthusiastic engineer, you've got the basic skill set. you're going to be able to pick up things fairly fairly quickly um so yeah yep i'm totally on board it's like yeah it's not needing specific skills it's just having the attitude the mindset the enthusiasm to pick up those skills